Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, author of many books on drawing cartoons and all sorts of stuff, including my newest one, You Can Draw Anything, 50 Essential Art Techniques for the Aspiring Artist. Lots of stuff. It's showing how to draw couples, to even cute little birds like puffins and flying birds, magic carpets and cute kitties. Who knew? They went together. And interesting things, how to create depth just using a simple shoot. But today I'm going to show you how to draw a simple smile, but well, it's got a little difference to it in that we're going to really make the eyes tell the story of the smile, not just the mouth. So let's, let's start with a simple shape. It's going to be female. So it's sort of round, it's like an like egg that's really wide on top and really tapered at the bottom. There we go. And we can adjust and we will adjust as we go along. Never usually right the first time. And if it's right the first time, I like to keep going and see, maybe I can find a better way. Right, here's a thin neck for her. She's facing forward. And we'll bring down the guideline. You've seen this center line, you've seen that. Around the middle of the head. There is the eye line. She's a little bit narrower here than here. See, I'm noticing that already, which means I'm going to shave a little mass off this side and kind of even them up so I won't run into trouble later. Okay. That looks good. We can work with that. All right, let's bring the, uh, the bridge of the nose. Just a little indication down here. And we'll bring it to one side. And shade it maybe a little on top. And a little nostril here and one here. Just to kind of subtle. Subtle look. Now for the eyes, we're going to make them bright and cheerful. Now here is the thing that we're going to have really work on. This is an interesting shape, right? It's tilted up the side. Well, you have to do it the same way on the other side now. Have to tilt it that way too. We'll see, we're about this far from the bridge of the nose. So over here, we'll be about the same place. It goes up to here, so this goes up to here. So we're trying to get our bearings because we want them to look Close, not close than the same. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, we can fix it up a little more as we go along. I'm gonna make this just a little bit deeper on the left. And again, just a little bit, because he's got a little more, little more length here. Okay. So let's darken the top lid. That's, this really frames, frames everything. And I'll widen it out here before I start with the pupil. And we can keep going and just uh, adjust it as we go. But sooner or later, we have to make a decision. So here's the decision part. I'm gonna put that pupil right in the middle. There we go. And the same thing here, right in the middle. Very important that the pupils both face in the same direction right in the middle, just like that. See, that works pretty well. The secret is, most people won't tell you, is that the eye itself, the shape of the overall eye, is slightly different on real people from one from the other. It looks very similar. So if you get it a little wrong, it's okay. It's wrong on people too, not just your drawing. All right, so let's bring this up, flip this eyelash up, give her another one, maybe even a third. And we'll flip this up like this. Now we'll darken both of these in, like so. I feel the one on the right is a little bit wider. That's okay. We can widen this too. Just even them up. That's the most important thing for this character because the eyes are really drawing attention to themselves. Now let's bring the eyebrows up high. So we're going to make them long. If you're going to draw attention to them, it's not just that they're going to be bold, they're going to be long. The longer line draws attention to itself. Now I'll give her a nice smile, but notice the eyes are really energetic. The smile doesn't need to be as energetic. A little smile on one side, that's all it takes. A little upper lip. Like that, just the upper lip. Now I'll bring it down from that crook of the smile not very long, 
And there are the teeth, right in there. We don't have to say anything more. We don't have to define them. There they are. And a lower lip, like so. See, that's it. it's not a big smile, but it is because we have worked on the eyes to make them that way. So let's bring the ears out like this. And we'll just do this with our hands. So we, oh, that's where the other ear must be. That's good. And let's bring this darkness area and try not to make it an exact point because otherwise the chin will look like a weapon. Now the ears are where they should be. What's wrong with them? Well, they're not angled back. They're like sticking out. So that doesn't work. Let's make this a little narrower also. So let's adjust them. But we have the ghost image here, so we know where they were, and let's make them a little narrower. And I'll put that flap in there, indicate that flap, and that's called a tragus right here. Another anatomical word that you will never need to know. Ah, you do if you need to. Certain anatomical reasons, you might need to know that if you're looking at something that way very technically but generally not. And here we go with the other one. We're going to narrow this down. Narrow it like so. And to make it look like it's angling back, we'll put the flap in, another ear flap. I'll make this a little wider. There we go. How about some earrings? Different kinds of earrings. Just a stem like that, a square. A circle, and I'm also going to shade that upper lip and a little bit of the lower lip. Okay, now let's start here. This is the top. This is also the part, right where the center line is. So let's go back this way. And it's very simple and just behind the ear. Same thing here. I see I made it a little bit off center. This is round, this is a little bit angled. It just gives it a little variety. Now I'm gonna bring this in just a touch. And just some feathered bangs here. I actually think this is a little too low. So I'll bring it up here. Yeah, that's a better. I mean, these are just, these are your drawings. Sometimes people feel like, I, I can't, I can't touch it. I'd be making a mistake. Well, it says who? This is yours. <laughs> it's your drawing. If you want to change it, it's not a mistake. It needs to be changed, and you're making that decision. Okay. Now I'll just bring this out for the shoulder area. A little, I think it's called a boat collar. And I might want to leave a little bit of shading here over the eyes, a little under the, the neck, and there we go. There is a fun smile, but it's all in the eyes. So I want to give you that lesson because that's a little different than you may have heard. It would be focusing on the mouth. So you, know, you can focus on different areas to make different types of expressions. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.